Good morning. Today is January 7th, 2020. I'm Joey. And I'm Matt. And here's a view from the Falcon's Nest. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and Moment of Silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of, a, of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Lunch for today is soft taco or chicken fajita, refried beans, Spanish rice, golden corn, baby carrots, diced pears, and a carnival cookie. Attention all students, the freshman class is hosting a school-wide John Glenn High School t-shirt design contest. The winning designer will be rewarded and the design will be featured on shirts to purchase in January. See details on the, and requirements on the papers outside of Ms. Beckman's classroom. Deadline is tomorrow. Now here's the weather with Justin. Thanks, Joey. Today is January 7th, 2020. It is currently 30, de 30 degrees and partly cloudy. Real feel is 32 and wind speed is 15. Not of the three-day forecast, consisting of today being 41, partially cloudy with a low of 22. Tomorrow being 26, partially cloudy with a low of 21. And Thursday being 48, rainy with a low of 44. Good luck to the boys and girls basketball against Jimtown at home tonight. Now back to the main desk. Tuesday, January 7th, football workouts will, be starting, will start after school every Tuesday and Thursday for anyone playing or interested in playing football next year that is not currently in a sport. Any questions, see Coach Faust. Now to Mr. Manning with a few announcements about the second semester. Thank you very much. First of all, I want to welcome everybody back um, to the second semester here. I hope you all had a great break and are ready to um, continue on here with the second semester. Um, grades should be coming out here pretty shortly at the end of the week, um, so we'll keep an eye on keep, keep an eye out for that. We just wanted to review a few items with everybody here today. Um, one of the the biggest things at John Glenn um, is respectfulness towards everyone. Um, that's a big um, a big big thing here at John Glenn, but it's also one of the cornerstones that we have and one of the things that makes John Glenn such an awesome place. So we just want to remind you that. Um, while you're working with others is to be respectful and mindful um, and kind of um, do your best to, to work with um, everybody that's here at, here at school. Just a few other reminders. Just a reminder about cell phones. Okay, cell phones are to be used at the d direction of your teacher or the adult in charge of that particular class for instructional purposes only. Um, you can keep your cell phone in your pocket or in your computer case, purse, things like that. Um, there's also um, holders in all classrooms that you can put those in. Cell phones are permitted to be used during passing periods and also during lunch. Um, so just a reminder um, with that. During lunch, we are modifying things a little bit. Um, it's always been a, been a, 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 a rule or an assumption here, um, but we are seeing some things um, with people moving around school during lunch, um, and that can disrupt the learning environment and the classes that are in place there. So. Just a reminder that you're to be in the cafeteria or in the gym um, during lunch. You may also go to the media center, but there is no food or drink in the media center. If for some reason you need to go to your locker or if you need to see another teacher, uh, Mr. Clark during A and B lunch and Mrs. Dolph during C lunch will be available to write you a pass to that particular point in time, and they will be near the lunch line um, in the hallway by the teacher's lounge and the credit recovery room classroom. Attendance is extremely important. Um, if you are absent from school, your parent or guardian needs to make a phone call to the school or a note needs to be brought in. If you go to a medical doctor, um, bring that medical note in or to the dentist or anything like that so we can have that on file for your records. If for some reason you are not feeling well at school, you need to come down to the nurse's office first. Um, the nurse or the front office personnel will make an assessment to feel if you are able to continue to go go on or if you need to go home and then we will contact your parents. Please do not contact your parents from the classroom. Um, they may not necessarily know that, um, your, or your parents that is there, so we prefer you come down to the office. That's just part of our procedure to make sure everything's okay. Most of you do an outstanding job of this as we re reviewed a lot of the data from the first semester, but please be prompt to your classes. Um, tardiness is a soft skill when we talk to employers that they want to make sure that people are getting to work on time. So be prompt, get to your class on time. Most of you do a very, very good job at this, um, but 
keep doing with it, keep working hard with that there. Your planners that you received at the beginning of the school year, make sure you're carrying those for passes. Um, as, as time goes on, people start to not have those. They lose those for whatever reason. Um, if, you, if you do not have your planner, there are some available in the office. Um, but you need to make sure that you are carrying that with you. Um, teachers have been reinforced to use the planner in the classroom for, the, for uh, passes. So make sure you do have that. And the last thing here, just a reminder that backpacks are to be kept in your lockers. This does include seventh period. There's plenty of time to get to your locker and where you need to go after school. Um, that is a safety issue in the school. Um, we've had that for a couple years now. But make sure that you are keeping your backpacks in your locker. Um, just uh, one last thing. Welcome back. We're excited to see you. And we're going to have a very, very good um, second semester. And we're already off to a really good start. Um, best of luck to the girls and boys basketball teams this evening. Um, and back to the main desk. And those are your announcements for today. I'm Joey. And I'm Matt. And that was the view from the Falcons Nest. Have, Have a, a great, great day. day. We did it that time. Oh,